Hey everybody, one of Weezem here. It is 1.43 a.m. Thursday, May 22nd, 2014. Um, full disclosure here, I am extremely tired. Um, kind of feel like, I don't know why, but I kind of feel like I'm going to lose my voice. <laughs> um, hopefully that doesn't happen. But uh, it... It hadn't been that long. I think it was just this weekend, you know, when I was doing Blast Zone. Uh, luckily, you know, because of the Wii U uh, starter pack and then the X-Bone starter pack, I had two regular Blast Zones, so I could ensure that I got to take Dark Blast Zone down the two best paths without having to reset him. Uh, granted, he's not, like, level 20 or anything. It's just kind of the principle of the matter. Um, I've been really torn on this one. Uh, if I were to go through here and make them separate videos, it would be, like, really redundant. Um, it's one of those deals I feel like I need to make a separate video of some sort because he's Dark Blast Zone. He's a special character. Some people may not even know he exists. Some people may only search for Dark Blast Zone items. Um, I think what I'm going to do is just buy everything for him. He's still totally box stock. And uh, the pass that I prefer... Uh, at least, you know, this is based on my personal play style and also now experience with him. Um, but luckily, in this case, my assumptions of what I would prefer were correct. Sometimes, actually a lot of the times, that doesn't turn out. Um, reaction satisfaction is the path I want to take up top. A lot of people will say, what, you're an idiot, the bomb path, ignition, that's epic, insane damage, yada yada. Here's my deal. To me, bomb throw, that's totally box stock. That attack is good enough as is. Uh, factor in the Soul Gem when you can do two of them, and then one of the base upgrades power bombs. I don't really feel the need to further upgrade the bombs. Uh, particularly when you consider that the ignition path, you actually have to throw the bomb through your tertiary attack. Tertiary attack is your first purchase upgrade, Flame Breath. It's never addressed at all again in the base upgrades until you get to Reaction Satisfaction. Reaction Satisfaction, my initial assessment, it reminded me of Flame Slinger's Column of Fire. I always thought that was cool. Uh, it's not quite like that, but it still uh, kind of ties in better with the way I would play the game. Plus, just basic logic for me, when one attack is already ridiculously awesome from the base upgrades, even when the Soul Gym ties in with it. Um, and there's another option, whether it be a secondary attack or a tertiary attack. Uh, granted, with swappers, it's going to be a tertiary attack on the top end, but um, whatever it may be, if it's been unaddressed, like it just exists, Flame Breath is just there, uh, it kind of makes the character more well-balanced. On the bottom end, uh, again, you really can't go wrong with any of his paths, in my opinion, top and bottom. But uh, temperature or fuel injected is probably what most people will prefer. Uh, it's kind of like the big number one. You know, you have like the one giant fireball and it does massive damage, if you will. Whereas people might take temperatures rising and be like, oh, this is lame, you know, it's doing minimum damage, uh, you know, like 8 to 12, this is ridiculous, I could have been doing, you know, 50 or something crazy with tempered fire. That's a good point, but when you actually consider that there's a duration factor for temperatures rising, um, and then that pathetic little 12 damage uh, winds up going for 8 seconds and you could rattle it off maybe 4 times, that's 48, 5 times would be 60. You've now eclipsed that one massive hit from fuel injected. Other thing I like about temperatures rising, it's kind of a bummer it didn't bump the armor up um, or like give you 8 seconds of invincibility or something crazy. I guess that would have been like overpowered probably, but um, the thing I like best about it is fuel injected, uh, as you can see in my upgrade videos for regular Blast Zone. Say you were trying to hit a gear golem with your massive epic 75 damage fireball, and a Greeble or Chompy, maybe we'll just say a Chompy spawner, spit a Chompy out and he came ran, running at you. Instead of that fireball hitting the gear golem you want it to, the big tough enemy, it might pull off at 90 degrees and hit the Chompy, which it will absolutely obliterate, um, because it was closer to you. It's cool at auto locks, but that can be a disadvantage. With temperatures rising, if I want to go harass the Gear Golem, 
I can just control it fully myself and I don't run into situations like that. But again, that's just my logic. Again, in all honesty, you really cannot go wrong with anything you do with Blast Zone, in my opinion. And again, the great mystery to me, I don't understand why there hadn't been more chatter about him. Um, nonetheless, he was level 2. You know, it wouldn't have been much for me to reset him if I screwed things up, but. Uh, you know, you have that third one that was sitting on the power of the skyline, so why not get him in the game? Uh, you know, do something fun like that. So, anyway, this is the main thing, though. He looks different. He's Dark Blast Zone again. Uh, ails from the uh, Dark Edition Starter Pack at GameStop. Uh, I'm trying to think how to do this. That's his primary attack. Be danged, we got standard and critical, so 28 to 42. Secondary attack, or the primary on the bottom end, if you will, is a rocket dash. If you quick tap it, you're going to fire off a 35 to 53. However, if you hold A, he'll automatically shoot off. You're going to do 100 to 150. Uh, again, to me, those are two things that I, you know, I don't know that I'd even have to upgrade this guy. It's those two attacks are just really good as is. Now, uh, what you need to fully upgrade a Swap 4 Skylander is 11,568. That is with the 18 Wing Sapphire discount, which we have, so we're home free on this end. Stand on this screen a little while just so you can kind of see things, but I think what I'm going to do is burn through these upgrades, um, highlight them relatively quickly, uh, and then maybe go into a different, not my default Super Hunger Gobble Pods, which people probably get sick of. Uh, but I guess I think I have like the second and third one unlocked. I haven't played anymore because I was debating recording them and I want them to be new. So, you know the drill. But uh, nonetheless, let's come in here. Flame Breath, uh, 192. Hold X while turning to create a wall of fire that damages nearby enemies. Now, obviously, you don't have to hold X. I mean, I'm sorry, turn. You have to hold X, but you do not have to turn to do it. Uh, you can stay in there stationary if you're so inclined. That's actually the easiest thing to do with the ignition path. But uh, We'll go ahead and buy this. Uh, as is, Flame Breath lasts roughly 8 seconds, does 8 to 12 damage. Uh, if you need video proof of that, you're welcome to go take the link at the top of the video description box. It'll take you to the post dedicated to Blast Zone and Dark Blast Zone. Uh, we will have his base upgrades, we'll have ignition, reaction satisfaction, fuel injected temperatures rising, and a full upgrade set from Dark Blast Zone, but uh, the regular Blast Zone videos, they'll be detailed in my usual fashion. You'll see it yourself. This one you're just going to kind of go through. So, power bombs for 512. Press Y to throw bombs that do increased damage. We're going from 2842 up to 3248, so plus 4, plus 6 on the damage side. Um, sticky Bomb, we're going to go ahead and pick that up. Hold Y, and you charge it up. And it's basically, it almost looks like a little landmine. It just sticks on to whatever it hits, and then a couple of seconds later, it blows up. So, uh, that one on the damage side, 15 to 23 when it hits whatever it is, and then when it blows up, 55 to 83. Right here, you have to pick your path. If you do not know, take that link. You can see both videos. You'll see my spreadsheet with the damage numbers that I'm using to narrate this video to you. And uh, it will help you make a pretty quick decision. So, uh, Plus, like I said, all those videos relatively short, uh, at least by my standards. So, uh, Nonetheless, though, reaction satisfaction, that's the path I prefer. I've stated why. Gain an explosive wall of fire that will blast away all enemies. We're going to pick that up. Uh, first one, Ring of Fire. I know Johnny Cash song stuck in my head. Uh, 960, creating a full circle with flame breast will cause a massive explosion. Uh, your question is probably how massive? 40 to 60. More importantly, it has pretty dad gun good range. Again, you can see that in the reaction satisfaction video. Next up is Ring Blast. This is cool because Ring of Fire does increased damage, and it does that increased damage in a larger area. 1280 is the price. We'll go ahead and pick this up. And you're asking yourself, how much more? We went from 40 to 60 to 60 to 90, and obviously just a uh, slight increase uh, in that. Now, Bomb Party. This is pretty crazy. A lot of people probably think it's insignificant. In all honesty, I feel like you could have Bomb Throw and then just buy his Soul Gym, and he could probably obliterate uh, 
tons and tons of competition and PvP battles. I think he'd be just fine in story mode. I mean, obviously, if you like level him up a little bit and everything. Uh, it is just a really salty box stock attack, and you're basically multiplying it by two here. So, 2240 is the price. New armor enhancements, which that's really deceiving. Um, they ought to just say you can now throw two bombs, but you get no armor bonuses here. So. So he is fully upgraded on the top end now, and we're going to back out of here, come in to the bottom side, uh, ready for blast off, hold A to charge a rocket dash and deal damage to nearby enemies, this is 192, that's basically what you think it would be as he's charging up, he kind of shoots sparks and fire out the back, uh, nothing crazy, but uh, 15 to 23 is your damage number, he does it four times before he takes off. This is cool. Armor plating for 512. As you know, I'm a huge armor person. Uh, armor is increased, hot off the steel presses. Sadly, you think, wow, he got plus 40 armor. Well, that would have been nice, but it's plus 8. So it went from 24 to 32. That said, it's still helpful. You know, uh, I prefer it over the critical hit stuff. Uh, next up, the final base upgrade on the bottom end. Fuel for the fire runs 640. Hold A to dash. Dashing now lasts for as long as A is held. That is, again, a crazy, crazy uh, option there. And it doesn't do anything. Increased damage, but you can dash infinitely. Uh, makes him very quick. <clears throat> and also powerful if that's how you prefer to attack. Alright, now right here, again, if you do not know, uh, hopefully you have researched it. And you can come to one of Weezum.com, find the Blast Zone post, you can watch these videos. Each one of them is outlined in immense detail, including the spreadsheet. Uh, again, I think most people probably would prefer fuel injected for me. As stated earlier, the control uh, of temperatures rising appeals to me. Become surrounded in a powerful flame aura that damages nearby enemies. We'll grab that. Alright, first one for 960 is Flamed, a fiery aura appears after dashing which damages any nearby enemy. And again, you've got about 8 seconds with this thing, and um, 8 to 12 damage, so I know that sounds weak, particularly if you know that Fuel Injected like, ends up 75 on critical hits. However, like I said, you can do that for 8 seconds. Do the math, it kind of offsets each other, plus you have the control here. It might not be as visually as impressive, but to me, it's worth it. Uh, too hot to handle, now the Black Crows are here. It's 1280, and even more powerful Fire Aura appears at the end of dashing. Uh, again, roughly still 8 seconds, give or take a tick or two. Uh, damage is up ever so slightly, 12 to 18 at this point. And the Soul Gem that we're about to get, if you recall back to our other rocket type swapper, uh, Bloom Jet, one of my favorites, kind of has that stuff going on on the bottom end. Same thing here with Hot Feet. A fire trail is left behind while dashing that damages enemies. Price is 2240. And we've got 531 coins to blow on stuff at Tux Emporium that I still need to buy. I haven't bought that because, of, or at least I think I should. Uh, Anyway, uh, that's why progress is always like at 82%. I literally just do this for you. I don't like progress on in the game. Uh, nonetheless, what do we want to showcase here? Um, two bombs at once, lots of damage from them. If we hold Y, uh, the sticky bomb is only going to be one, sadly. It would have been crazy if it was two. Uh, reaction satisfaction, this one's pretty sweet. Uh, in that video, I can never hit this guy. <laughs> Anyway, you see there, I mean the ring, and then if you come out this way, very easy. As you can see there, I didn't even really try to set it up, and we got three of them. So it's an awesome path, in my opinion. Uh, down below, we got the armor increase. We can dash infinitely. Uh, fuel for fire. As you can see there, <clears throat> that was what he was spitting out at the uh, back end from his legs. He dashes really well. And then the damage is actually... Uh, tying in from the soul gym so he's just a really well-rounded really quick uh, powerful character then there's the aura and as you can see I can control that we can walk it do the 12 to 18 and with that let me check the time here for you um, 14 minutes we'll, we'll go ahead and do this um, just for the record
I mentioned this before, like with some of the duplicate characters. Uh, coming up soon, I'll be doing Bumble Blast. Uh, Zulu would fall into that category, you know, because he's got a legendary counterpart. But uh, the way I did this one, where I just basically buy all the upgrades and I can on the fly tell you about them, that's the other option I could do. Obviously, in that case, I would come in ahead of time with one of the two characters and buy everything, uh, have it documented, etc. And uh, it would save a little bit of time, but in my opinion, it's not as detailed, it's not as hands-on. Uh, I would rather, instead of somebody just rattle off spreadsheet numbers to me, which you can read on the site, I would rather actually see upgrade by upgrade what they each look like what the damages they do by me recording them you know step by step in that manner you're right there you see what it does you can analyze you know if you hate something if you want to skip it if the soul gem makes a character look weird to you you don't have to take it um, I just think I mean that to me is the best way to do it but uh, this is another option if you prefer this let me know you can always explore it on at least on the duplicate characters maybe but uh, nonetheless we're gonna come in here solo survival and yeah I think I've played this one maybe twice I might have taken smolder dash in here one time I can't remember if I recorded that or I was just curious and trying to get a quest taken care of, but uh, nonetheless, uh, instead of my usual super hungry gobble pods, uh, we'll come in here, pokey pokey spikes, and uh, see what we can't do with blasting. Dark blasting, I'm sorry. Blast and furious! Other thing I meant to say in the full disclosure deal earlier tonight when I did my uh, We Fit You body test. Same position I've been in since I got my Wii U. Uh, direct relation. Nothing's changed. TV, Wii U, balance board. Pokey, pokey uh, the gamepad was like cutting out all the time. I could not figure it out for the life of me. I was kind of worried about recording this in all honesty. But, uh, let's we'll see what happens. I'll let you watch the Cloudy you know, curse. intro here. The, the curse is a Ready, kind of three, pain if you're going two, to a high score. I'm just wanting to kind of showcase some different things. We'll start with the primary Stage stuff one. here. Two bombs, as you can see. Um, sticky bomb him. Watch him blow up. That's pretty epic. Uh, you get an idea what reaction satisfaction does now. Note. Um, It'll only blow up that, I noted that in the video, it'll only blow up that one time if you just stand in there and keep making the circle. The circle will continue to form, but it just literally will not uh, blow up again. I'm wondering if you make part of a circle and you come back to it. Finish it up. Uh, bottom end, you can do all kinds of crazy stuff. There's the fiery aura. Again, the flame ball might have chained off and hit uh, someone that we didn't want it to. But I mean, just the primary attack is ridiculous. Oh, I forgot these were spinners. <laughs> well, sometimes, you know, if you are going for high scores, the uh, little uh, projectile guys kind of like hide away in the mix of the green. Kind of dashing, and we'll play around with the auras. Okay, I'll get the teleport. It's really annoying. The gamepad and that stupid cloudy curse. It literally like vibrates and makes the bumble sound the whole time. Not a big uh, This guy's super easy to chase down. The last one. I don't say that. I had this same problem, he's gonna get away, I bet. And I'm gonna let him, well. Yeah. Another character that has trouble getting him is actually Scorp. Uh, for whatever reason, the way that he lobs his projectile attacks, it just honestly kind of uh, skews everything. But note that the bombs do bounce. Uh, obviously, most of the time, it would be helpful if they don't. At least in the case of this arena. But uh, that is something to uh, be aware of. And really, in my opinion, at least in this arena, the most useful attack he has is from reaction satisfaction. 
I say that just because the bombs, if they bounce, they won't hit your intended target. And so this actually works really well to just kind of isolate and obliterate. But you get the idea, like, is you, at least in this one, um, it's really hard to kind of like keep track of everything. You've got the cloud, it's always annoying you. And then you've got just so much area and you can't see it all on the same screen. So it's easy for the enemies to kind of come in and cause some trouble. Now you can just use a flame wall, you know, and um, that'll kill the chompies, obviously. Now let's see what we can do damage wise with this. Is just about done. As you can tell, that guy is. I think we have another one of those in the final round, and I'll actually use our uh, secondary to stop the food thief before he escapes. Obviously, dashing is probably a method of choice for this game. Final stage. I'm gonna try to leave some of that food there. Probably want to get that stuff. But again, I mean, to me, that attack is just ridiculous. Uh, in story mode, it would be a different story, but like, I mean, right here, it's just real simple to execute. Let's go ahead and, uh, I'll just dash and oh. <laughs> Sometimes you can actually catch enemies as they come off the cliff. I've done it in Super Hungry Goblin Pod several times now. Like the shielded guys. Uh, if you catch them right as they like enter the arena from the cliff, you can actually um, eliminate them at that point in time. Okay, we got Took care of his, I believe. Oh no, that is the standard fire help. Oh my gosh, I'm going to die. Almost over. I wouldn't even pay attention. I like that. Can't watch this anymore. Okay, so uh, let me actually focus on this and take a few trivial things. Uh, which I was kind of interested in. Okay, I don't really know what happened. I thought there was a uh, blunderbuss or the heaver guy over there, and I was going to circle back and get all the XP and then try to use the XP, and I think there's a slice of pizza in that top corner. I was going to see if we couldn't get his health back up. But Anyway, uh, obviously not going for a high score. They're just kind of trying to showcase the different attacks between reaction satisfaction and temperatures rising. So uh, we will go ahead and uh, back out of here. Again, I don't know why. I've got a peppermint in my mouth trying to keep myself from losing my voice. But <clears throat> it's kind of right before I came up here. I was like, hmm, my throat kind of feels like Welcome back to Woodboro, What's hero it? of Cloudbreak Islands. What can I do for you today? Again, this cutscene right here is just ridiculous. I mean, and see what bonus if you skip it, by the time you can skip it, it just basically takes just as long, if not longer, than if you actually go through whatever it is that he says at that time. So, uh, That said, this is Dark Blast Zone, fully upgraded. He went from level 2 to level 5. Uh, don't know that that really did him justice there. But uh, I think these paths, he's probably better suited uh, four story mode more so than like an arena challenge but um, kinda tried my best to highlight everything for you and again I just didn't really feel like I wanted to come in and make the three separate videos for him I thought maybe we'd do them all in one I kinda outlined the damage numbers for you uh, showcased yeah we kinda actually showcased just not in my usual fashion or detail but um, Great character, again, me personally, reaction satisfaction and uh, temperatures rising are the paths I prefer. Uh, don't really use the sticky bomb much. Um, the dashing, again, I would do a ton of that in a story mode situation, but in the confinements of that arena challenge, not so much, particularly with flipping 
ring of spikes around you. It just kind of turns into a non-dashing zone, if you will. But, uh, hot feet probably would have been really good there. Um, I guess I was more focused on the other things, but you get the idea hot feet would be uh, pretty nice there. It would also help with the food thief if you needed that. But uh, I'll go ahead and end this. I'm ready to move on to fire cracking. The problem I have there is I just have one right now. Um, I don't want to buy another one because jade fire cracking should come out at some point in time. Um, then going on to life, it would be Grilla Drilla. I just have one Grilla Drilla. Uh, which he sadly doesn't have like a legendary or special counterpart or anything at this time. Or even a chase variant that I know of. Um, I'm kind of torn if I want to go ahead and do like half of each character. You know, like Fire Kraken, Top Path 1, Bottom Path 1, Drilla Drilla, you know, Top 1, Bottom 1. Or wait until I have two of each. And then I would just like basically move on to Stink Bomb and then come back and hit. What I'm going to do now, I think, is uh, go just alphabetically by elements and by, you know, character name. Hence why it would be Drilla Drilla then Stink Bomb. But I think what I'm going to do is alternate. You know, I've already done the Fire Newlanders. So I would come in and I would do the Life Swappers and then the Life Newlanders. Magic, New Landers, Magic Swappers, etc. So uh, that's kind of my tentative plan right now. It's just I'm at a weird position because I don't have a second of either of these. Granted, I always phrase it, you know, if I just had one, this is what I would do. So um, I might come in there and do that, I guess. That might be something. Uh, my other issue is I'm not quite sure what there was a leak of Jade Fire Kraken, but I didn't want to look at it. Um, I don't really know what he's going to look like. I have a general idea, but it's one of those deals if I like his look better than regular Fire Kraken, I'd prefer him to have the better path. Um, I don't know. I, I might wind up doing Gorilla Drilla and Stink Bomb or something. Um, I don't know. I'll figure something out and be back, and hopefully I don't lose my voice. But Again, Dark Blast Zone. I know it's redundant since we've done five videos on Blast Zone already, but he's a special character. I feel like he needs that special spotlight or showcase, if you will. So i uh, try to do his a little differently. Again, usually these videos are like 15 minutes base, 10 minutes on the paths, uh, you know, full damage showcase, etc. So... Um, not quite sure what I'm going to do next, uh, but it will be something, and um, I guess you will find out when I do, so stay tuned for that. Again, take that link at the top of the video description box. You'll see all Blast Zone's pass, damage numbers for each and every one of his attacks, and of course, you'll have all the videos archived there for you. Uh, it should help you pick a path if you're in doubt. Um, you can follow me on Twitter. <clears throat> I think I swallowed part of the peppermint wrong. Like me on Facebook, circle me on Google+, Plus, whichever you prefer. Uh, again, I will figure out what character we want to hit next, and uh, we'll take it from there. But uh, as always, thanks for watching, and I will catch you back here in just a few seconds.